Hi, my name is Richard Lucas. I'm a businessman. I've got nine businesses here in Europe and one in America. What's a business about? A business is about solving problems and making money. And you can make a business out of almost anything. For example, here's a dirty carrot. You know, how can you make money out of a dirty carrot? Well, the first thing you could do is you could make it nicer. When I was a schoolboy, I had a business selling sweets to my colleagues, to my school friends when I was nine years old. But what was that business doing? It was solving a problem. So the first thing you need to think about is what problem you're going to solve. What problem could you solve with a dirty carrot? No one's going to eat a dirty carrot. So the first thing you do is you probably have to clean it. And you know, I can wash the carrot. If you're a businessman, you often end up doing things yourself. This isn't really a very nicely washed carrot, but luckily people help me. As you can see, there's a few more things here. Here's a slightly cleaner carrot. And, you know, but a clean carrot by itself, probably people aren't going to buy that. What else could you do with a carrot? Um, you can uh, chop it up. You know, maybe, maybe people will buy it if it's, they're made into snacks. Because what's the problem? Kids at school are going to get hungry. And during snack time, obviously they might buy sweets if they're allowed to buy sweets. But if there's some nice healthy carrots chopped up, they might buy those. What else could you do with a carrot? You could turn it into juice. Okay, that's a bit more complicated. Uh, you might buy crisp, but you might buy healthy carrot chips with a bit of paprika. Um, obviously you could cook them, but if you cook them, well, how are you gonna do that? You have to organize it. So you have to think, well, who do you have to talk to? You probably have to talk to the school. You have to think about how to get the carrots to school, where to buy them, what you're gonna do with them. If you're cleaning them, you can do that at home, but if you're cooking them, well, that gets a bit complicated. Um, if you're gonna turn them into juice, how are you gonna get a juice machine? All these things you have to think through. If you're the businessman, the businesswoman is your business, then you have to think about how you're gonna organize it. But also, a business is about making money, is about adding value. How do you make it cheaper and how do you sell it more expensively? You might pay, I don't know, a pound, a euro, a dollar for 10 carrots if they're dirty. But if they're clean, if they're nice, the idea of making them nicer is to add value so you can sell them for more. So one way is to get the price up by making them nicer. But what can you do to get the price down? Well, you can think about buying them in larger quantities. Maybe if you go to a, go to a warehouse, you go out to a farmer, you go to a big cash and carry, you can get a big sack of dirty carrots, much cheaper. Apart from that, of course, everyone thinks about marketing and sales. How are you gonna sell your carrots? A business is anything that solves a problem. So you've, you look for problems, you find solutions, you look for ways of selling the solution to the problems at a price way higher than the costs of organizing it, and you've got a business. And that's pretty cool. But if you're a business person, a businessman, a businesswoman, you're in charge. And if you don't do anything, nothing is going to happen. You don't have a boss. You don't have someone telling you what to do. The only person who tells you what to do if you've got a business is the people you're trying to sell things to. Because, you know, what happens if no one buys your carrots? And you need to think about that as well. Where are you going to get money from? You know, if you need to, if you get some pocket money from your parents, is that enough to buy a sack of carrots? Pro probably not. So then what do you do? You have to talk to your parents, talk to someone who can give you the money to buy a sack of carrots, and you're going to have to make a deal with them. You need to give them some reason to give you money. Business is about making money. It's not about charity. And here are a few questions to think about. Number one, what problem are you solving? If you can find a problem, then maybe you have a business if you can solve the problem. Another thing to think about is, is it better to work for someone else? or is it better to have your own business? And also, if it's your own business, do you really not have a boss or is it just that your boss are your customers? I hope that this has been a good introduction to the idea of going into business and if you choose to go into business, I hope you don't regret it.